All right. Now the next thing we need to do would be to go ahead and create the login design for our app. And this is exactly what our login design is going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and design this. So from here you can see that we are going to be having two color schemes. We're going to have the primary color which is this color and we're going to have the accent color which is this color. So without wasting much time let's get back to Visual Studio and design our login screen. Now the first thing we need to do will be to go ahead and get rid of our test button because we don't need it again. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And after deleting it, we need to go to the login view controller and delete the click event handlers that we created for our test button because we're not going to be making use of this again. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. And we're going to delete this as well. All right, so let's return back to our storyboard. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and create color sets. We're going to create two different color sets, our primary color sets and our accent color set. So I'm going to go to Solution Explorer and I'm going to double click on Assets as Cassettes. So this is where you can create different color sets and image sets depending on the need. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new color set. So what we need to do here will be to provide the color code that we want to use as our primary color. So you can either go ahead and make use of this color scheme or you can just go ahead and provide the color code. So the color code we are going to use will be 1C4258. So I think this will do. So this is our primary color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So I'll copy it. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it for iPhone. So if you want to you know, set a predefined color for iPad, I can go ahead and choose any color of our choice, but I want to go ahead and make use of the same color. So what this means is that you can set different colors for different iOS devices. So this is Apple Watch, Apple TV, and Mac. So the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and rename this color set to color primary. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new color set for our Ascent color. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the color code that we're going to be using. Say EE861F. So this will be okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this and click OK. Alright, so successfully provided the color set for our Ascent color. So I'm going to go ahead and rename the name of the color scheme to Color Ascent. Alright. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go back to our main storyboard. So we need to start designing our login screen. So as you can see, our login screen was divided into two segments. So to be able to have such, I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to select the view element. So the view element is more like a container that contains other UI elements. So I'm going to drag it to my view controller. So I'm going to place it appropriately where I want it to be. Right, so I'm going to expand the size to somewhere around here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the background color. So I'm going to select color primary. So as you can see, these are the colors that we defined in our asset S cassettes. So I'm going to select this. All right, so I'm going to go to layout. So I want to increase the height to 446. So this is basically it. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add an image view. So as you can see from the completed project, we have an image here. So this is going to be an image view and we're going to add an image inside of it. So we're going to go to our toolbox and we can easily search for image view. So I'm going to drag an image view into the view. And I'm going to go ahead and expand it a little bit. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and import the image that we're going to be using for this section. So to be able to do that, I'm going to right click on my solution explorer and inside of the resource folder, that's where we're going to be adding all the images. So I'm very hopeful that by now we should have successfully downloaded the image assets that we're going to be making use of while designing our app. So you can find it in the first or second um, lecture in this particular section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add files. So I'm going to navigate to the folder where I have my images. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import center image. So go ahead and select center image. That's the image that we're going to be using for now. So I'm going to go ahead and import it. 
OK. Now the next thing we need to do will be to click on the image view and go to the property window for the image view and I'm going to go ahead and select the image that we just imported and that's it. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add a label that is going to read Uber Rider. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to drag a label. I'm going to drop it somewhere here. So I'm going to go to the property window again and I'm going to change the test content of the label to Uber Rider. So the next thing we need to do will be to change the test color. So the test color is going to be white. So this is white color. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this label. Now the next thing we need to do is to format the test so that it will be at the center. So these are various properties that you will have access to from the property window. So we're going to set the alignment to center. And also we can increase the font size if we wish to. So I'm going to change it from regular to semi-bold. And I'm going to increase the font size as well to 20. Alright, so this is basically how to set up a label and also you can drag your label until you see the tiny blue line. This is to confirm that um, your label or whichever element of interest is at the center of the entire page. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add a test field. So to add a test field, we're going to go to our toolbox. We can search for test field. Alright, so this is our test field. So I'm going to drag a test field. Okay, so I'm going to increase this and increase this. Right, so we're going to be having two test fields. One will be for email and the other will be for password. So I'm going to go back to the toolbox and I'm going to drag another test field and I'm going to drop it here. I'm going to go ahead and expand it. Right, to so somewhere here. So because we have great taste for design, you and I. We are not going to be leaving our test fields like this. So we're going to go ahead and edit the attributes so that it can look way more better than this. So I'm going to go to the property window. So we need to increase the height. So to be able to increase the height, we're going to go ahead and change the border style of our test view. So I'm going to select this. So when I select this border style, it will give me the opportunity to increase the size as much as I want. So I'm going to go to the layout and I can increase the size to 44. That's the height to 44. Okay. And after that, I can go ahead and clean the test. So after cleaning the test, we can now go ahead and set the placeholder. So in this regard, the placeholder is going to be email. And the next thing we need to do will be to go back and change the border style to what it was originally. All right. So we now have a much better looking test impute. So we need to go ahead and do the same thing for the second test field, which is going to contain our password. So we're going to go to the properties. And after that, we're going to go ahead and clean the test. And the placeholder test is going to be password. So we're going to change the border style so that we'll be able to increase the size. So the height is going to be 44. So because our password test field is not like any other test field, so we're going to scroll down and enable secure test entry. So this will go ahead and make our test field a password test. So this is basically all that we need to do here. All right, so I think I selected the wrong border. Okay, so we need to take it back. All right, now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and add a button. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the toolbox and this is a button. So I'm going to drag it to our view controller. So we're going to go ahead and expand our button. And the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and set the height. So I like using a predefined height. So 44 will just be okay. Now the next thing we need to do will be to go ahead and change the background of our button. So I want the background to come from the accent color, which in this regard is yellow, orange rather. So I'm going to change this to color accent. Now the next thing we need to do will be to change the text color of our button. So we're going to set this to white. 
So if we so desire, we can go ahead and set a corner radius for our button. So if we want to add soft edges, we can do that as well. So we can scroll down. So this is where we have corner radius. So I can set the corner radius to 2 just to give my button some soft edges. So finally, we need to go ahead and change the title of the button. So the title is going to be Login. And bam. All right, so let's take a look at the completed project and see where we are. Okay, so the next thing we need to have will be this test view that reads click to register. So let's go ahead and add it. So we're going to go to the toolbox and we're going to drag a label. I'm going to drop it here. So I'm going to increase the size. So I'm going to go ahead and change the test property of the label. So this is going to be click to login. And I'm going to centralize this. It should be click to register. All right. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this to ensure that it is in the center. Okay, so this is basically how to make our login page. So our design is almost ready. So I need to go ahead and increase um, the width of our test views and make it to be in the center. And push this up a little bit. All right, so our design is ready. So to confirm that everything is in order, Let's go ahead and run our app. Okay, so everything seems well in order. But if you look closely, if you find out that this doesn't look exactly like how the completed project is. So I'm going to pull up the completed project so that we'll have a second look. So you can see that here, everything is properly aligned. Our test views are big enough. The button is big enough and everything just suits just properly. But in our project, you find out that, that things are not exactly how we want it to be. So the test fields and the buttons, we are supposed to be aligned to the bottom. So in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and see how to do proper alignment for our design. So this will be all for now. See you in the next class.